Well met lords and ladies, Jay Curvebarter speaking and a warm warm welcome to this week's Walking Wednesday. Except that it's not warm. Um, yeah, it started getting chilly, I mean quite quickly actually. I mean I'm, I'm around in Crawley by the way, so the weather is slightly different, even though you wouldn't quite expect it. Um, and actually I am now going down a path that I have wondered what is down this area for about 17 years now. I don't think I've ever actually seen what lies beyond, because basically, basically, but they, um, I'm gonna give away the exact location, but you can see, you can see it from my grandmother's house, like somewhere in the general area, I'm not gonna say exactly where. So I've been thinking, you know, people walk up this place all the time. In fact, people walk in this place all the time. I didn't know it had an uphill. That's how little visibility there is. So yeah, oh of course, as soon as I start walking my shoelace, it comes untied. Right, I'm gonna find a place up here, and then I'm gonna stop. So yeah, as far as unexplored realms go, this is the next one. Obviously Crawley was, uh, was well known to me for again, 17 years. I'm pretty sure the first time that I flew to Crawley was when I was three. I don't know, might have been younger. Because I do remember that I went to Liverpool when I was 10 months old, but who knows? I'm mean, usually flying to Gatwick, so there's a chance I might have been to Crawley and not remembered. Which is weird, because I remember the Liverpool one. And yes, I do remember that far back, but only vaguely. Cool, look at this place. <laughs> Down there. Oh, well, there's my oyster now. Let's see. Yeah. Might as well turn right. Turn right to go left, as they say. Should have used that quote when I was already back down there because my aunt's one of the only people who remembers the quotes from cars. Because we were obsessed with that movie, both of us, when it first came out. Okay, let's put that there. And I'll sort out my shoelace. Because of course, we're doing this in one take. All very professional right now. This is where anyone else would, you know, cut to commercial or something. But alas, I do not have that luxury. <laughs> anyway, point being that, uh, that I should have mentioned that earlier. As for as for what actually happened in the week, well, up until about yesterday, the week was brilliant actually, because of course you know the puppy love auditions, they started, and um, and actually there was like incredible reception actually. I mean, I'm not saying that it is not just Pew's puppy love that people have joined, but obviously that's like the main attraction to the GLVA server, and um, and in that regard, I'm pretty sure that when I when I pinged the um, when I pinged the server yesterday for an announcement, because I forgot to add a character section for someone, for Reggie that is, I realised oh well it said you know how it says before when you get above thirty people it says you're going to ping thirty plus people forty plus people bloody bloody blah, 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 and it's like are you sure you want to do this? And of course you have to select, yes, yes, you are sure. Well, this time it said 80 plus people. So apparently there are over 80 people in the GLVA server, which is fantastic. I'm, I sound a bit, I sound a bit unenthusiastic because I'm, I'm very tired right now, for reasons I'll get into later. But, um, but yeah, that is honestly brilliant. I mean, that's more than, that's, that's more than, both, uh, both Buttercore and Butter Nation combined. So, incredible that we got to that length, that, um, that, that size in about a week. Not only that, but also, while the puppy love auditions have been going in, people have started to realize that the, the GLVA server has the option to host other shows on it. It took a while to to clarify that, and so I had to actually specify to people 
that that was an option that because um that they had to put their auditions in the actual in the actual popular category rather than put them in like Ted Lapper season two or or Mimi's Mermaid series or I don't know something else. So yeah, it's um it took a while to figure out that on the first day, a bit of the second, people got the hang of it. And then they realized, oh yeah, I can host my own show on here and people can audition on it. Because that's the reason I made the GLVA server in the first place. I didn't make it so that's like so you could say, oh well, this is just gonna be popular of the, the voice acting server, like everyone else does. No, I thought, well you know what? There's so many there's so many voice acting servers around that it it just needed like one place where people, where people can go. And people have found that one place. I mean it's not like it's super popular. I might have to I might do an advert for GLVA once Popular Love actually starts or once one of the other projects actually starts and they've they've aired from that server. But as for right now, you know, the 80 people, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm if I do say so myself. So yeah, of course it's um it's it's, it's going a bit more dormant now because everyone who auditioned like towards the beginning is already has already uh, done their bit but we'll see the point is there's always going to be something going on because there's always more shows to go for and while a lot of them are Mimi fans specifically hopefully they'll take a chance on the other people doing the shows which tend to be other fans themselves exceptions apply of course but <laughs> that's what it's that's what it looks like so far That's so well. In other news, uh, the uh, other news, the the first review that I suppose did did well. I haven't checked what the second one's like because, again, super tired. <laughs> but that's worked out too. Also, if you still want to do puppy level auditions, like remember, the deadline is on Friday, so you have you have two days in order to get your auditions in, whether on Discord or on YouTube. I mean, you might as well join the GLVA server, you know, before it reaches 100 people or something, I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, and if that's, um, if that ends up happening, then, um, well, actually, no, that ends up happening. But once, once the auditions are all in, you know, I'll be checking the ones on YouTube, because I haven't seen that many on YouTube yet. I mean, Aiden's pointed out that, you know, people, when you follow the Poppy Love Auditions hashtag, a lot of them appear, which I knew anyway, because from the first day I was looking at them. But mostly I've been downloading the files for all the ones that are sent in files on Discord, so I have one place that I can look at all of them at once. So, yeah. As it appears, uh, as it appears also one of my uni friends has, has auditioned himself, and has, is, that, is actually like really dedicating himself to actually practicing the lines before submitting because he knew, he knew about it from a long time ago but he auditioned yesterday and you can tell that he's been uh, he's been practicing and, and working on it <laughs> so that absolutely goes noticed by the way like you can tell when somebody has uh, when somebody is putting effort into the character he's not the only example of this there are plenty of others I'm just I'm just saying that I'm not going to specify too many details because then I'll just be calling people out for not doing the things that I've just said. <sighs> also, people have been missing the third line that Darius has. Any Darius auditionees out there, Darius has a third line, okay? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because, because he's a main. So a lot of the characters in Puppy Love don't, don't speak that often. Most of Puppy Love is focused on Darius and Nathan, who's the character who's being played by Mimi herself. So um, it's, it's a bit like Taming the Bad Boy, where, where most of the episodes were focused purely on Cole and Yuki. So, um, so yeah, when I started, like, 
originally writing Puppy Love, it was, um, it was in an attempt to, you know, make do on what I said in the reviews of Timmy the Bad Boy and figure out, you know, how to actually write a gay love story that could be compelling. And I originally showed it to Mimi as a way to uh, see if she would actually, if she actually thought it was a good thing, because, you know, as the, uh, as the spoken person on, uh, on all things, uh, on all things gay and gotcha, I felt like it was, uh, it was good to get her advice on it, and she seemed to, she seemed to like it. And then she came on to help actually write it along with Aiden. So, so yeah, that's been, that's been going quite well. Sorry, helicopter. I appear to be on 5% now, so I'm actually going to stop the recording here. By the way, it's not the anniversary because I checked the anniversary is on May 22nd, this is only May 13th, so we've got one more week. So yes, thank you. Sorry to cut this incredibly short. I was going to explain what happened yesterday, I don't have time anymore because my phone's running out and I tried charging it but it's taking hours to actually do so, so I was on 30 before and it's on, on 5 now for some reason. So yeah, on that note, please do like or dislike because your opinion matters. On that note, until next time, farewell.